Hey guys, welcome to my DVD collection video part two. Um, this is um, I uploaded a, my first um, I just filmed my first video that had my first 120, and this is the other 119. I have a 239 and all. So, yeah, let's get to it. First, I have this um, uh, Phillies Legends of the Fall DVD. It's um, so basically it says the 2009 video yearbook. This is cool. I'm looking forward to watching this. Then I have this Leprechaun 4 pack as the first four movies. And the first movie is very good, it's my favorite. Great time killer. The second one is okay, a bit too boring. The third one is um, is my second favorite. It's not as good as the first one, but still very good. And the fourth one is very bad. I've only been able to sit through I, I, it once, and I didn't even watch the whole thing. It's very bad. Uh, then I have Rooney Tunes Golden Collection Volume 1. W liked this a lot when I was a kid. Uh, lots of cool memories of this. A great cartoon. Then I have uh, uh, Rooney Tunes um, Golden Collection Volume 3. Also very good. Um, uh, more childhood memories in this. Great cartoon, as I said before. Uh, then I have The War Axe. Very, um, Pretty good movie. Um, it's uh, based off the book by Dr. Seuss, which I also own. Um, it's um, it has lots of new stuff because Dr. Seuss books are short, but it's still um, it's similar to the book. It, but it's, it's a bit different though. But well, it's a good movie. I like it. Then they have the second Lord of the Rings movie, The Two Towers. I had not seen it. I hope it's good. And I also have the third movie, uh, Return to Return of the King. I have not seen. It. I hope it's good. Yeah, I I don't own. It. I also haven't seen the first one. Um. Uh, I might buy it before I watch these two, or I might just like watch these two and then buy it out one. I don't know. Sorry about it, that's my neighbors. Uh, and then I have The Lords of Salem. It's my, probably my second least favorite Rob Zombie movie. It's not bad. The story is interesting, but just, uh, not a huge fan of it. It's just, um, way too much going on. It's just, um, it just doesn't feel like a Rob Zombie movie. Even if it would not be one, I still wouldn't be like a huge fan of it. Then I have. The Mask, really funny movie. Hasn't haven't seen it in like five years, I think, but I really like it a lot. And this one from my parents' collection, this is The Matrix. Haven't seen it yet, but I hope it's good. I hear it's very good. I have a soundtrack to it too. I have a soundtrack to the movie right here. Anyways, then I have Matrix Reloaded, the first sequel. Hope it's good. And Matrix Revolutions. Hope it's good. Then I have Men in Black. Had not seen it. I hope it's good. I like the story. So Will Smith is in it. So then I have Metal Revolution, the series. A very great heavy metal documentary. It's um, it's also about basically like all rock and metal, and like it covers all rock and metal. It's like it's from it has the Sam Dunn, the guy who did um, a metal and Headbangers Journey and Banger TV. He's he like he's like the main guy, and there's like there's a. A pre-metal episode, new wave of British heavy metal episode, grand metal episode, flash metal episode, power metal episode, new metal episode, uh, shock rock episode, just pretty much everything. There's a lost extreme metal episode which I saw on YouTube, but I don't get why ep episode was like scratched. I thought it was good, but whatever. But they have Metallica, S and M, a uh, pretty cool con, very cool concert. Uh, it's Reno Metallica with Michael Kamen conducting the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. You know, rest in peace, Michael Kamen. But yeah, they played stuff from um, every album. Well, back in 1999, every album besides Kill 'Em All, they had two new songs based specifically for this. No Leaf Clover, which is like one of the most popular songs. I made Joe Clover. I check it out. And um, Mine Is Human, which is an underrated song. Not as good as No Leaf Clover, but still very good. Then we have. Monsters vs. Aliens. My dad got this movie eight years ago. Have not seen it since then. Hope it's good. I mean, I do end up liking some of it when I was four, but obviously my opinion will change now. Then they have Mr. Popper's Penguins. A very funny movie. Very good. I like everything about it. Jim Carrey is great in it. Don't have much to say about that. Then you have the Mummy remake. Um, it's the remake of the 1930s Universal Monster movie, not the, the Hammer movie. But anyway, um, uh, haven't seen it in seven years, but I did like it back then. Probably like it again. 
actually, yeah, I haven't seen it in like seven or six years, I think. And I have the Mommy Movie, the Mommy Movie Turns. I haven't seen this in six years, but I, I do remember liking it. So yeah. Then I have the Mommy Tomb of Dragon Emperor. I have not seen it. I recently bought it, but I hope it's good. Then I have the first of the five Scorpion King spinoffs. I hope it's good. The Rock is in it. That's cool. Uh, then I have Never Elm Street 1 to 4. The first movie is my favorite. It's very iconic. Very good. The second one's kind of underrated. My third favorite. 3 is my second favorite. It's very good. It was a good balance of Funny Freddy and Scary Freddy. 4, well, he was pretty funny, but he wasn't very funny. He was pretty funny, but not very funny. Yeah. Cool 4 pack. Then I have part 5. This is when he was very funny. He, uh, like, the story, the movie itself is scary, like, that, I, it doesn't, like, leave you, like, like, a cold, but just, like, it's pretty, like, pretty, uh, uh pretty dark, and Freddy, what he, Freddy is doing is dark, but, uh, but he is just very funny. But not really good, still great. And then I have Freddy's Dead, which is, um, uh, uh, my second least favorite out of the original series, um, but it's, um, uh, like, it's very way too funny, the makeup was bad, they give him a daughter, which is unneeded. The coolest part for me was Alice Cooper, as, uh, as a cameo, as a Freddy stepdad, I thought that was cool. Yeah, well, the makeup was pretty bad if you saw that cover. Alright, then I have my least favorite original series, New Nightmare. Now, New Nightmare is actually a very good movie, like, it's not, it, but it's just not my type of thing. I, I don't like it, the thing I don't like is that, how it pretends the first six movies are movies. And like Ruins, and like, it's a very good movie, it's te it's technically better than uh, two, four, five, and six, but it's just the uh, whole how it pretends that the movies are movies to, to also to, like makes you enjoy us. And Freddy vs. Jason is um, it's kind of underrated. Like what's weird about it is that it feels like a Freddy movie because like, they even like show Freddy at the beginning, like they show clips from like the clips from the first four movies, but he only kills one person. Jason kills a lot more, which is very weird. But yeah, both of these movies are pretty good. Then I have. The remake, which is my least favorite out of all the movies, it's uh, the worst of the big four. It's very boring. The makeup effects on Freddy suck. Um, uh, I miss Rob, like Robert Englund is heavily missed in this. Like Jack Earl Harry, he's not, he's not a bad actor. He just doesn't fit for Freddy, in my opinion. Yeah, I actually, did, I, this is not a rent like this. I I ordered it on eBay. It's a rental. I I'm not like renting this. Like I don't even think you can do that anymore. Sorry, I thought it was not recording, but it's not. Alright, then I have Nirvana. Live in Reading, uh, very great, con very good concert. It's a uh, they perform great on this. Everything sounds great. Then I have um, Ausfest 10th anniversary um, DVD plus CD, which I don't consider the CD a part of my uh, CD collection. Just like I don't consider CDs a couple of my, I mean DVDs a couple of my CDs a part of my DVD collection. I consider those like bonuses. But yeah, we have. A DVD, we have performances from uh, Anthrax, a Trivia, Soil Work, uh, we have uh, Lab Zombie, uh, we have Velvet Revolver, Him, and Black Sabbath, and a CD, like, and there's also a, a bonus performances by Alter Bridge, uh, The Bad Capsule Market, so I don't know who that is, and uh, Bowling for, uh, for Soup, who I, I'm not a fan of, but I do know who they are, and it has actual interviews with Ozzy. Uh, Jack, Slash, Zack Wild, and the band Wicked Wisdom, which I'm not into. So, yeah. Then I have, uh, this one for my parents' collection. This is Payback. It's an action movie. Haven't seen it. I hope it's good. I like action movies, so probably will like it. Then I have this movie, like, when I saw it when I was three, it scared the. Hell out of me, this is Pet Cemetery. The thing that's scary was Zelda. Like, look it up, look it up on YouTube. It's actually, she, she's actually played by a man, and she's like, she's very scary. But, like, I actually, like, I saw this, like, what, like three years ago. I didn't watch it for two years. I saw it last year, and I. She, like, sort of seemed that it's scary, but it's still, it's still creepy. Um, but yeah, very scary movie, very well done, based on the Stephen King book. It's very good. Then I have the sequel, which is very different, but directed by the same director, Pet Cemetery 2. Uh, yeah, Edward Furlong, Edward Furlong, who played um, John Connor in Terminator 2, is in it, and it's, like, I keep imagining, like, Arnold trying to, like, save the day, but anyway, um, 
it's a very different, but it's still very good. It's like this one is kind of more of a fun, like I would say, that's necessarily fun, but more like, like a like a entertaining type keyword. The first one was like very serious, very different. Then I have, oh sorry, yeah, show this off. I have Phantasm five DVD collection. That's all five movies. The first movie, which is my uh, technically the best, even though it's my second favorite, Phantasm Two: The Ball Is Back, which is my favorite. It's most entertaining. It's the only one that came out in the 80s, I love 80s movies. And then the uh, Phantasm 3, World of the Dead, which is kind of underrated. It is a bit too goofy, but I still like it. We have Phantasm 4, Oblivion, which is uh, pretty overrated, in my opinion. It's not like very overrated, but like it tries too hard to be the first movie, in my opinion. Then we have Phantasm Ravager, the newest one, which, um, like, it was, um, alright. It was, it made it even more confusing, but. You know, Tall Man's still good at it. Uh, he was very older than, you know, rest in peace, Hank was great, but he was a great actor. Then I have the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Seen most of this. I've seen, like, uh, I've seen, like, the first uh, 50 minutes of it. I still have an hour left to go. I'll probably watch the whole thing again. But from what I saw, it's very good. Hope to see the rest of it. Then I have Pirates of the Caribbean 2, Dead Man's Chest. Haven't seen this yet, but I hope it's good. Powers of the Caribbean 3 at World's End. Haven't seen this yet either, but I hope it's good. I, I don't know the 4 and 5, but I want to. Then I have uh, Planes and the Cars spin off. Uh, I saw this in the theater. I liked it. Not, I don't like it as much as the 3 Cars movies, but I still like it. Then I have the sequel, Fire, Planes, Fire, and Rescue, which is also very good. Uh, not as good as the first one, but still good. Then I have uh, this. Uh, my dad got this for me like uh, 7 years ago, but this Planet Earth. Series has like five, yeah, five discs about like uh, nature and stuff. I might, I saw this when I was like five, I don't even know why I thought about it because I was five. But we watched this at, on Netflix at school recently because um, we had to study for a science exam, so this is what we watched. And I like what I saw from it like this year. Obviously, when I saw when I saw when I was five, it probably like like the animal seeds in it, probably. All right, then I have the Polar Express. Another one of my favorite Christmas movies based on the book, which I have also I haven't read, but I, like when I was little, like they read it to us at school, and it's a very good movie. I like it. Then I have Predator Two. I have not seen this yet. I had this for like four years for my parents' collection. I have not seen it yet, but I hope it's good. I've seen the I've seen the first movie, which I liked a lot. Yeah, there's also a movie called. Uh, uh, Dark Predator and Predators. I don't know which one came out first, but yeah, I need to get those two. Actually, I think one of them hasn't like come out yet. But when it does, um, after it does come out on DVD, I'm gonna try to get. It. And I also want to get the original. Uh, and then I have Prom Night. This '80s, this came out in 1980. This one, one of the better '80s slashers. Like basically, like every '80s slasher after this was very similar. And it even says the back inspired a new style. The Scream series. I don't want you to do a summer series, Urban Legends series. And it like I don't want you to do a summer kind of ripped this movie off. Uh, Scream and Urban Legend were inspired. They were pretty different still. And Jamie Lee Curtis is good in this movie. I don't think he's good about it. Great '80s slasher. I definitely want to get more 80s slash like The Prowler, Final Exam, Graduation Day, uh, you know, Mad Mad. I, I love 80s slash, they're my favorite types of movies. I don't care if people say they're cheesy, I think that adds to the goodness of them. I thought I have the Shrek spin off, Boots and Boots. Uh, pretty cool. I like it. I don't like it. Uh, I, guess it's, I guess it's what happened before Shrek 2, and maybe what happened while Shrek was happening, the first Shrek was happening in another, war in another country. I think that's what happened. I thought I have. Return of the Living Dead, this is my favorite zombie movie. This is actually a fun zombie movie. It doesn't have like like uh, zombies getting beaten with uh, hockey sticks and baseball bats and post apocalyptic world. Like the only movie I liked that had that was World War Z. Other than that, like I don't I'm not a fan of those type of movies. This one a zombie movie should be in my opinion. Fun. Then I have Return of the Living Dead Part 2, which is kind of a watered down version, it's a watered down version, it's uh still but it's still cool. It's definitely the best of the four sequels. Then I have Return to Living Dead 3, which is very different. It's good, but it's very different. I still like it, but it doesn't feel like Return to Living Dead movie. The first two do, even though the first two, the second one is pretty different still. Yeah, uh, 
There's also return to Whipping Dead, Necro Pool, and Survive to the Grave, which I want to get, but I, I hear they're bad, but I also get them like have all five movies. There's also a documentary, more Brains Return to Whipping Dead documentary, which I need to get to like have more Return to Whipping Dead, because I like the movies. And then I have a movie, the first movie I saw in the theater, Rio. Uh, this movie is good. It's a, when I saw it when I was little, I was a bit bored of it. I might like it a bit bored of that, but I haven't seen it in a while. I do like it. Then I have the sequel, which I also saw in the theater, so yeah, this is the movie. I like this one more uh, than the first one. It's more entertaining. Might not be technically better, but I like it more. Then I have uh, one I haven't seen yet, Rockstar. I hope it's gonna hurt like Miles Kennedy or somebody makes a cameo in it, which is cool. But yeah, I hope it's gonna like. Obviously, if you couldn't tell by now, I love Rocket Metal. So yeah. Alright, then I have RV. Haven't seen this yet. Hope it's good. It's from my parents' collection. Then they have uh, all seven, well not all seven, the first seven Saw movies. There's a Jigsaw came out like in October, like 2017, and now like this this makes that that makes this not the complete collection. But I need to get Jigsaw. I haven't seen it yet. Hope it's good though. Heard it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't, the first movie is my favorite. It's not like a ten out of ten, but it's nine out of ten. The second one is uh is also pretty good. Good as well. My second favorite. Third one is my third favorite. It's. I think the series went downhill after from three. Four is like my on the on the first seven because I haven't seen Jigsaw. Four is my uh, sixth favorite. Uh, Saw five is my fifth favorite. Saw six I like to watch. It's my fourth favorite. It's all the final. Saw three the final chapter. The only cool part for me was Chester Bennington's death. Rest in peace. But it was just cool seeing him. Other than that, it's pretty bad. Actually, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna say it's terrible. Straps are still going well, the core is good that done well. Anyway, then I have Schindler's List. I haven't seen this because it's like 3 hours 16 minutes, but it's like a must have, so I just have it. Then I have all four screen movies. The first movie is my favorite. I like the first one a lot. Uh, the second one is uh, my second favorite. I also like it. Third one I don't remember much about. It's my least favorite. Uh, the kills are still good, but it's not that good. Fourth one is my fourth favorite. I like. I mean, fourth one is my third favorite. My bad. I liked it a lot. Yeah, um, I guess with the like, two killers were in the original. I guess with the uh, in the second one, they kind of don't play fair because they're like one of the characters was the killers is never introduced to us. But um, I guess like one of the two and the third one, I don't even remember who the killer was. I can't. I'm not a big fan of it. It's not like terrible, it's just like not as good. Fourth one, I did guess who the killers were. So yeah. I like the Scream movies, they're not like, they're good time killers. And I need to get the Scream TV show, which uh, I think it's had like two two seasons. I saw, I see the first season on sale, I just never get it. Alright, then I have uh, The Shining. Uh, this is a very good movie, Jack Nicholson's great. It's a bit too long, it's like three hours and... Actually, it's not three hours, it's two hours and 22 minutes, but it's very good. It's co-adapted from the Stephen King novel, but it's very different. But yeah, um, if you want to see something similar to the novel, then uh, get the uh, mini series, which I see if I use it why you might pick that up soon. And then I have Shrek, a childhood favorite of mine. I like this movie a lot. Uh, it's very cool. It's pretty funny. It's very good. And I have my favorite Shrek movie, Shrek 2. Yeah, this movie made a lot of money. It doesn't matter to me, but I just say it. That is proof that, that it actually is very good. That's my opinion. Um, that's good. If you don't like it, that's cool. But... This movie is very good, it's my favorite Shrek movie. It is everything I want from a Shrek movie, it's very good. Then I have Shrek the Third. Um, this is my least favorite of the four movies. It's not bad, I like the idea of them having kids, but it's a bit boring. But it's still cool. And then I have Shrek the Final Chapter. Shrek Forever After the Final Chapter, which is also... Uh, I like it too, it's, it's my third favorite, it's very cool. But I just like, the, I think the first two are a bit better, but it's still very good. I'm excited for Shrek 5. Even though this was supposed to be the final one, but I guess we see more of Shrek, which is great. Then they have uh, this Donkey's Christmas Spectacular, just a little short Christmas thing. Well, what the hell? The way that got it for me, so. Then they have Silence of the Webs. A uh, very good movie. I saw it like two years ago, uh, and I liked it a lot. It's a uh, 1 hour and 58 minutes, but it's very good. Anthony Hopkins has created it. Then I have the sequel, Hannibal, which Anthony Hopkins has created it again. It's a, 
I like the first Silence of the Rams. Rainbow Road is also very good. Then they have. Sorry about that. That was a notification. Um, on my tablet. That that was on my phone. Sorry. Then they have Red Dragon. Uh, this is the prequel to Silence of the Rams. This is the last movie with Anthony Hopkins in it. It's the collections of this. I haven't seen it yet, but I hope it's good. Here, good things, man. I heard I, there's also a Hannibal Rising doesn't have Anthony Hopkins, and I hope to get that. And then there's a TV show, which I think had two seasons. I'm gonna get that too. You know, I heard it's not that good. Then I have The Simpsons season one. Started watching these yesterday, and I, uh, I'm like, there's like during the 30 of season of Simpsons premieres in September, which is insane. 30 seasons, that's a lot. I want to get all of them because I really like what I see. I only see the first three episodes, but those are so good. I want to get at least all 30 seasons, which is going to be insane if they're even all available. But yeah, but like, I only saw three episodes, I'm already hooked to it. And I also have The Simpsons movie, which I hope is good. Yeah, since I, I like, since I like season one, I probably like this. Um, yeah, I need to get Daughter 29 seasons. Then I have um, Silver Bullet, uh, but I the only vampire, the only werewolf movie I have seen. And the only one I want to get all eight Howling movies. Howling movies I already heard the first one's good, but whatever. And I also want to get American Werewolf in London and the sequel American Werewolf in Paris. Uh, and then um, there's some other good uh, movies as werewolf movies as well. I don't remember the name of them, but uh, this is one of the best ones. Uh, it's based on the Stephen King book. I did get some of the werewolf ones, but very good movie. Then I have Swapshot Two: Breaking the Ice. Uh, I haven't seen that seen. Haven't seen this or the first one. I hope it's gonna. I love hockey, so I'll probably enjoy it. It's not like a hockey movie. It's like mostly a comedy, but it's, obviously it's about hockey. But I then I have Sound Park, a uh, bigger, longer, and uncut. This is, um the movie South Park. You know, there's also a, there's, it's based on the TV show South Park. South Park, which I have not seen, but I haven't seen any episodes, but I hope to see this. I hope it's funny. Then I have Spider Man, first movie. Haven't seen this, the two disc um, uh, full screen special edition. Hope it's good. I heard very good things about it. I also have two disc edition of Spider Man 2. I also heard very good things about it, so I'm excited to check these two out. Then I also have this is my only Blu-ray. I'm not gonna call this my DVD slash Blu-ray collection because of one Blu-ray. I have a, uh, I have this Blu-ray Spider-Man three. I heard this movie is pretty weak, but it's better than Amazing Spider-Man movies, which the world's two of them. Yeah, you know, I, I like. I don't. I don't have a Blu-ray player, but my there's one in my parents' room. So, like, I'm gonna ask. I'm sure they'll watch. They'll watch. They'll let me watch it today when I have when I want to. I have Spongebob, Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, this is the second, Sponge Out of Water, this is the second Spongebob movie, and it's, um, uh, I like it better than the first movie, um, which was just called the Spongebob movie, I think Spongebob Squarepants movie, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think Sponge Out of Water was better, uh, because, um, it's more entertaining, um, in my opinion, I, you know, I, Spongebob was my favorite cartoon, and I need to get all seasons, like, I watched it on TV, but I want to get all, let's see, ten seasons? At season ten is uh, pretty ended like recently, so I, I might get be able to get that soon. And oh, season eleven is still going, so season twelve is coming out soon. So it's a new movie. It does a nineteen, so I'm excited for that. And then they have uh, a SpongeBob Christmas. Uh, I'm watching this during Christmas, just one episode, but so it, this episode is very good. It's it's not like animated. It's like I don't even know. It's like play doh or something, maybe puppets. It's very cool. Still recording? Yes, okay. Sorry about that. Then I have Square SquarePants Halloween. This has like a bunch of episodes from like 1999, 2001, so 2002, so. No, I guess the golden days that I still like do SpongeBob. Yeah, so. So, not, other than the uh, Scaredy Pants episode, other these are like really Halloween episodes, like Imitation Crabs just like has prank, the uh, pranked in, like, uh, like a Mr. Crabs robot. Like, for example, like the Idiot Box, the Secret Box episode are like. Even scary at all. Or Mr. My Pretty Seahorse. Welcome to the Chump Bucket. Yeah, those, they're just like, I did they added them in here. I love those episodes, but it's just a bit weird having them in here. It's still working. Uh, then I have the Star Trek reboot. You know, there was like 
10 other movies before this, this the reboot. I hope it's good. I'm not a huge fan of reboots, but still, I might get the original movies. There's like, there's like five Star Trek TV shows as well. So, you know, Star Trek franchise is big. Another franchise that's big is compared to it a lot is the Star Wars franchise. It's Star Wars Episode 2, you know, it's the fifth movie because they made Episode 4 first. Actually, the first one was just called Star Wars, but later it became Episode 4, then Episode 5, Episode 6, Episode 1, and Episode 2. I have not seen this, but my two of my friends are huge Star Wars fans. So, they might keep telling me to get some Star Wars movies. I got the this and uh, episode 3, probably not the right ones to get because I heard the, the prequel episodes aren't good, but I heard that this one was good. I heard that part, episode 2 and 1 weren't good, but I got 3. I heard that 3 was good, so yeah, I'm probably going to get every Star Wars movie, like, you know, all 8 of them plus Rogue One and Head Solo. There's also an episode 9 coming out soon. Uh, I don't even have the stepfather. This is, um, a very good horror movie, very suspenseful, but the suspense doesn't bore you at all. It's a very interesting story. I want to get Stepfather 2 and 3, which is a pretty, it's like, it is available on DVD, but I can only find it on eBay for like, uh, it's available on VHS tape, which I might get if I can't find a DVD, but I probably will find a DVD. And there's also a remake, which I, I want to get those three movies, especially the two sequels. Like in the third movie, it's funny how like, this, there was a different actor playing the Stepfather, they basically said that he was, he got plastic surgery as like a, Kind of an excuse. And then they have another Eagles movie, The Story of 2003, Put Up Eagles Fighters. This is like how, basically, how about they went to the NFC Championship game and lost to uh, the Panthers, but. Uh, I'll check this out. I don't even know if this has like. This is like a story, or just like. Is this like just every game? I don't even know. I think it's just the story. It says the story. I hope it's not like every game. Not because like I don't like I'm foot I'm not a huge football fan. The only sport I love is hockey, but anyway. No offense to football fans. It's a cool it's a cool sport, but I just have a big fan of it. And I have the stuff of um very fun eighties movie. Uh yeah, I don't show a bunch of discs, but it says to this one off. Very fun eighties movie. Uh I love it. It's very fun. Story is very unique too. And I have Superman Returns, which is the uh fifth Superman movie. There's like, uh, there's, it's a, it's supposed to be the, it ignores the, uh, basically there was two Superman movies, then there was two other sequels, two sequels to those two movies, and a spin-off, Supergirl spin-off, but this movie ignores the, uh, two sequels and, uh, the spin-off, so, I don't know, it's kind of, it kind of pulls out how we H2O, but, I'll check it out. Uh, Pretty much good, uh, I haven't seen the other two movies, but it doesn't matter, really. Then this one. I saw on Netflix that I bought the DVD after this Tad the Last Velocity Explorer. This is a, I think it's a Mexican movie because like all the directors' names are like Spanish. No offense to like you know, I'm not trying to be me, just saying. Uh, it it is in English though. But yeah, I watched I watched this like sorry about that also my name was saying scared for a second. Uh yeah, um uh, a very um uh, very fun movie, good time uh, killer. Sorry. Uh, and then I have the ten Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. Uh, you know, I like Tenacious D, they're a cool band, but it's their movie. There's also a soundtrack for this movie, like, that they made, but anyway. Hope it's a good movie, it's for my parents' collection. I, I heard very good things about it, so I'm probably gonna like it. Then I have one of my favorite movies of all time, Terminator. Very good movie, Arnold is great, and everything's great about it. It's the most, it's pretty much like, kind of a horror movie, which I like. That's the most horror Terminator movie. So yeah, then we have Terminator 2 Judgment Day, that is the two disc special edition, sorry, um, yeah, uh, uh, this one is probably technically better than the original, but it's not my, f I don't like it more. Uh, then we have Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, uh, two studio edition, two, two DVD edition, uh, special edition, um, also pretty good, pretty underrated. Then Terminator Salvation is my least favorite Terminator movie, but I still like it. I don't like it because uh, the only thing I don't like is how Arnold's on it and a bit boring. It takes place 2018, and we don't have any Terminators, which is a good thing. Yeah, the first four were all for my parents' collection. This one they got me for Christmas is Terminator Genesis. This is uh, DVD plus Blu-ray. So technically I have two Blu-rays, but uh, this also has DVD. That's why I only have one I think that's just a Blu-ray. And yeah, this is the limited edition Target, uh, Target limited edition. 
I kind of a bit scratched, but uh, this one, this one is getting a bit too much heat. I can never see why, but I like it. Then we have Timber Tree, a uh, very good AK strategy. This is probably like some of the best, or some like final, like final exam. Like as I said, this is like one of the best. Just a like. Just, uh, I don't know what I know, uh, graduation in Prower, like, Prower, Prower Knight, and, and Terror Train are best, uh, well, Prower Knight is a franchise, but, like, the two and three are different movies, they're good, but they're different, and four is a slasher movie, but it's not connected, and there's a remake, so, like, Prower Knight, Terror Train, and Prower are some of the best early 80s, so it's not kind of like Friday 13th, and Halloween 2, and Nightmare on Elm Street, and stuff like that. Now I got the big ones. Yeah, uh, uh, Mad Man is another good one. Yes, a uh, uh, body birthday, happy birthday to me. Uh, I think that's all I can think of right now. There is a lot more. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Slaughter High, The Fun House. That's a more. And then I have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, original classic. This is uh, uh, my favorite movie of the series, and it's, it's uh, very iconic. And this and Halloween are like very iconic movies. They're my favorite 70s movies. A very good movie. 10 out of 10. Part 2 is also very good. Very different even though it's directed by Toby Hooper. But it's still very good. Uh, so I get it. Yeah, this is the gruesome audition by the way. Uh, just, uh, I, like, this was a, the, this cardboard was glued onto the, the, the TV, the, 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 this, the, the, the you know, the case, but I don't like the cover, it's just a, the cover is this, which is, looks like a Saw movie, so, or something, so I slid it in, and it's an awesome cover. We well, have Weatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, also very good, uh, no, no returning, uh, ca characters other than Weatherface, but still, still cool, Army Behave, also very good at it. This is Army versus and Unrated, I've seen the Unrated one, haven't seen the Raider one yet. Then they have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre of the Next Generation. This movie is like guilty pleasure. It is bad, but I like it. It's like Leatherface looks bad in it, like definitely. And Robert Jack's like it's not his fault, but you know, rest in peace. But he's definitely the worst Leatherface. But but it just it's just funny. It's good time killer. It's a fun movie. It's very bad. It's guilty pleasure, but it's just it's just a fun movie. It's definitely bad. It's guilty pleasure, but it's fun. I I don't love it. It's still my least favorite, but. Uh, kind of like Jason X. Uh, then I have the remake, which is the probably this is one of the only remakes that I really like. There might be some remakes that, are, remakes that I like, but I want like real like them. I really like this one. It's pretty different from the original. What about next season? Nice more like scenes repeated, but it's the way uh, the return family members. But uh, you know, the family members are really that cool other than other face Sherry Point, but whatever. I have the beginning, which is the prequel to it, even though it's very similar. I like uh, I like this one a bit more. Actually, no, I don't. I don't. I, I just want to like it's very way too similar. It's it's pretty similar to the, a bit more similar to the original, but doesn't make it any better in my opinion. And then I have a pretty other rainy movie, it takes the shades all 3D, but this is not the 3D version. A pretty other rainy movie. Other than like um, uh, Alex, uh, like Leonard Face's cousin girlfriend, like there's pretty much nothing wrong with it. Like he annoyed me, but other than that, it's, it's good. I like it. Well, there is a, a timeline issue because the main girl, it takes place 40 years later because like, at first it seems like it takes place in the 90s but then it's like an iPhone in it and stuff. So she should be 40, 19, like, the actress who plays Alexandria Daddario or something? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her name. I, I think I pronounced that wrong, but it is her name. She's a great actress, but just weird having her play a 40 year old. And then I have the prequel to the original and I think it's Chainsaw 3D, a uh, Uh, it's okay. And it wasn't a huge fan of the guy who played one of face. He's not a bad actor, I just don't think he fit that much. And yeah, whatever, I'll make the series original. Two. Uh, three. The remake. Takes a chainsaw 3D, which is underrated in my opinion. Uh, I think it's hard here. Uh, the beginning. What if it. Water face and next generation. You know I like all of the movies pretty much. Uh, yeah, face is great villain. Definitely the most realistic. Like Freddy, Jason, and Michael Wise, they they like that they can't exist. Weatherface can. Then I have Toy Story, this is the first Pixar movie, it's very good. 
it's not only like, well, pretty much the best Pixar movie, but it's also like one of the, one of the best Disney movies also. Very good movie. Sorry about that. Then we have Toy Story 2, which is, it's, this still gets lots of love, but it's kind of underrated. It's considered to be the worst Toy Story, which I disagree. I think they go in order for me. I think Toy Story 3 is the worst. I, this movie is also very good, but it's a bit overrated, in my opinion. Actually, it's very overrated. Not very, but pretty overrated, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying it's terrible, it's very good, but I think it's a bit overrated. But it's still good. The ending is, uh, I guess, touching. Uh, it does make me cry because I don't cry in movies a lot, but it is touching, I guess. Uh, uh, then I have Transformers. This is based on the uh, 80s cartoon, which I thought was better. I see parts of it and I like it a lot more, but this movie is a childhood favorite of mine. I do like it. There's, there's like four sequels now, or five? Or like five or six movies now. Uh, like, but this original, the original, not the original, the original was the cartoon, but the. First movie is the best. Yeah. Then we have True Lies. I haven't seen it, but I hope it's good. It's for my parents' collection. Arnold is in it, so it has to be good. We have Twister. I haven't seen this in six years, but I did like it back then. I'll probably like it even more now. Good movie. Then we have um, Volant. I haven't seen this in like seven years, so I don't remember much about it. And I have, this is not the movie Walking Desire, Walking with Dinosaurs, this is like a, it's kind of like a, they like filmed like, basically like, not what you said filmed, but they like, it's a movie like about dinosaurs, it's like, they like, there's a guy talking and he explains what they did, and. Sorry my camera died, so I'm using this one to finish the video, so. Anyway, I have a Walking with Dinosaurs, this is not the movie that I have seen in the theaters, this is um. Like a documentary, not really a documentary, it's like, they like, it's like footage of uh, dinosaurs and like how's a guy narrating about them. I liked the song when I was a kid, I didn't understand what the guy was saying, it's like watching the dinosaur scenes. So yeah. Uh, then I have this World Series 2008 DVD, uh, you know, Phil Reeves vs. Tampa Bay Rays. I haven't seen this, but I hope it's good. I don't remember when they won the World Series because I was two, but yeah, that's that. Alright, then I have... This long third three pack, which has the first three movies. Uh, first one is my favorite; it's very good. The second one is a, uh, alright. It's my fourth favorite. Third one is my second favorite. Actually, my third favorite. It's uh, I, I like it. Now the fourth one, the prequel, uh, is my second favorite. I liked it a lot. And then the fifth one, which just continues the prequel uh, story, is my fifth favorite. It's, it's really that good, but the kills are cool. And then the sixth one. Is our least favorite. Uh, it's not really that good. The kills are cool though. So yeah. Then I have X Men: The Last Stand. This is the third movie. I haven't seen the first two, but you know what? I'll check this out. I might get the first two first, but I might just like watch this first. Who knows? So yeah. All right. So now I have two uh, like TV TV shows complete series. I have Everybody Loves Raymond, the complete series. My family loves the sitcom, and so do I. So I got this as a Christmas gift that has this little slip cover. Inside it basically the slip cover is the same as the actual thing is but alright so inside we have every season. Season one season two season three season four season five Season 6, Season 7, Season 8, Season 9, and there's a, there's a booklet, it's like a sign, and it has an entire script for the final episode, all, everything they say, everything they do, so yeah. Very cool Christmas gift to get last year. Uh, back up. Oh yeah. And then I also have a King King of Queens complete series. Uh, now King of Queens, everybody loves Raymond crossed over three times, like two times on here, one time on Everybody Loves Raymond in a brief scene. And then uh, my two favorite sitcoms, that, but one of my favorite TV shows. Yeah, this is uh, like yeah we have a. Uh, 
like it builds the you know the house that you have front every disc this has 18 discs three seasons for three discs for the first eight seasons and two for the final season of the bonus disc I like Yellow Bunny Rolls Raven a bit more but they're both very good pretty they're pretty like they're pretty different but yeah uh they're both great like I mean they're the style of them was similar but they're like like everybody else was more like a family one while Teacher Spirits were like a couple one and uh father in law so yeah uh, this is that's been my my this is the end of my DVD collection video. I will make a, uh, an update I don't know when. I'm gonna try to get twenty DVDs this oh by the way, for my DVD C D collection updates this is a new system. It's um every Every time I have 20 or like a bit more CDs, I'm gonna film a new video to like make videos quicker. I'm not gonna like wait till I have like 30. So like for example, I have 14 like as I'm filming this, so like when I get like 6 more or maybe like 7, whatever. I'm gonna like film a new video, so yeah. Thank you for watching uh, this, vid uh, vi this video part 1. If you have not, if you're watching this video and have not seen part 1, check part 1 out. So yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time.